Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I have decided to do a weekly forecast for all signs. So it's going to be from October 14th through October 20th. So we're going to start with Aries, and we're going to go Monday through Sunday. So we are just going to do that. And so this is this is um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Monday through Sunday, the 14th through the 20th. What do we got for Aries? Ooh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, And Sunday, well, of course, I have to squeeze these together here. I move my ball back a little bit here. I might do that after, but anyway. So, now we're going to get a tea leaf card to go on top of these. Monday, the Ace of Cups reverse. You're probably not going to be very happy, okay? The Ace of Cups reverse is not emotionally satisfied, not emotionally fulfilled. i got to be honest with you, right? So Monday looks as though um, there's a lack of emotion or somebody is shutting down emotionally. Um, I'm just going to pick a card for each day. Okay, what do we have for Aries for the week ahead? So Monday, we have the Ace of Cups. This is emotionally uh, not happy. Okay, this is shutting down emotionally. Emotional shutdown on Monday. I mean, that is what this is. So whether you're shutting down your emotions or somebody that you are dealing with is shutting down on you, this is... Um, you could be this is a lack of compassion even somebody may not be uh being very compassionate with you or you may not be being very compassionate with them okay um this is shutting down on monday Dog, far away, a distant friend is thinking of you on Monday. Somebody is thinking about you. Somebody from far away. They may, they may be sensing it. Somebody, they, somebody could be feeling you. They could be feeling your energy. Somebody that is far away. Could be, this is, could be somebody that has passed away as well. Because this Ace of Cups can signify... Uh, somebody that has passed away or even you know that's what it could signify so um, somebody is thinking about you maybe they're feeling your I mean this is somebody that you you um, oh, have a connection with okay this is somebody that you that uh, looks up to you they may be feeling you you know telepathically somebody from far away on Monday Monday maybe maybe you're reminiscing about somebody let's talk about Tuesday Tuesday is not putting in effort not working very hard, not feeling it, right? I don't want to work, I don't feel like working, no energy, no drive, no ambition. Somebody isn't working hard on Tuesday. Happiness and well-being. Maybe you maybe you take the day off to rejuvenate your soul. Maybe you take it easy at work on Tuesday. Today Tuesday is a happier day. You're working on yourself. Take a break on Tuesday. Wednesday. This is a loss of abundance. Okay. This could be the end of a relationship. There could be a family feud on Wednesday. 
There could, I mean, that's what this is. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So you may be trying to uh, get people in your family to work together, coming up with some creative ideas to um, smooth things over within the family, trying to get people, you know, just to start over from scratch, something like that. Wednesday looks like a day of, you know, you getting creative to make your home life more or your the people your family work together okay it's like we're a family issue that arises and you trying to fix it right getting creative to fix it on Wednesday Thursday two of pentacles so this is adapting this is being flexible taking steps to uh, remain flexible, to bring flexibility, or to bring stability and balance and harmony to a situation. Good luck. Four-leaf clover. This is great. Good fortune. So Thursday is needing to adapt to something. Whatever it is, it's good. It is good. On Thursday, this is a change, but it looks as though it's a positive change. Whatever happened the day before or the days before, um, th th it's turning. This is a wheel. It's turning out in a more positive direction. So by Thursday, things are looking better. Whatever you did on Wednesday, it worked. Okay, it worked. So you're creative, you know idea is helping to resolve a family issue by Thursday you know balance is coming back something good it's like it worked out worked out in your favor Friday high priestess this is unaware high priestess reversed this is somebody that is unaware not seeing a situation clearly This is, this is like there's some sort of secret. Somebody could be going through a regression of some sort. A sincere wish will be granted. Perhaps you're not aware that a wish is going to be granted. And this is on Friday. So on Friday, a sincere wish will be granted. You don't know it though. You don't see it. You're not aware. You can't predict it. Maybe you wished for something subconsciously. A wish is about to be granted on Friday. Saturday. Needing to defend yourself. Needing to protect yourself. Stand your ground. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So you may need to, needing to defend yourself from this woman. Protect yourself. So this is Saturday. You may need to t like shut the door right in this person's face. Don't let them in. Don't let them in, whoever this person is. I don't know who it is. Or you may not. You Maybe you just don't trust this woman. I mean, this woman doesn't look like they're very happy. So I think on Saturday, you there is going to be a dark woman that you need to it's like this person may want to fight with you i'm just being honest with you okay and you're going to need to protect yourself from this person whoever it is and sunday six of so so this would be sunday the 20th october 20th this is lack of reciprocation rejection not receiving Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires carefully, careful handling, careful handling. So there is, this is like a, this could be a financial loss or a rejection or a lack of reciprocation. 
and you're going to need to handle it very, very carefully. I feel as though on Sunday there is some sort of Rejection. It is a rejection of some sort. And you are going to need to handle it very, very, very carefully. And this is lack of balance and situations in the balance that require careful handling. To bring balance back to a situation, you're going to have to move slow. You're going to have to... Um, think before you leap. Think before you jump. If you don't, you could miss your target or you could uh, get hurt. Just be careful. I feel like Sunday is a day of not, either you're not reciprocating or you're not getting what you deserve. Something is happening on Sunday that may cause you imbalance. Okay. Somebody could... Uh, if somebody could even, I keep looking at this grasshopper, somebody could act impulsively and, and leap into something that, you know, gets them squashed or gets them in trouble. So be really careful on Sunday. So Aries, for the week ahead, I feel as though it starts out as, you know, emotionally unfulfilling. You need to take a day off. You need to take a break the next day. Um, there's going to be some sort of family conflict or family feud on, on Wednesday in which you have the creativity to turn it around. On Thursday, things look better. Things you look like balance is coming back. Things are changing for the positive. It looks better on Thursday. On Friday, a wish is being granted, something that you sincerely, a, a sincere wish is being granted. You don't, you don't think it's probably ever going to be granted or you don't even see it coming. And here it is. Your wish is granted. On Saturday, you're going to need to defend yourself, okay, um, from whoever this dark woman is. This woman um, either has dark hair or a dark complexion. You may need to protect yourself from this woman or, or push this person away from you. You know, just stand your ground. And on Sunday, um, it's like you need to be careful about where you leap because you could get yourself in trouble and end up in loss if you, if you leap before you look. So that's what I have for you, Aries. And Taurus. Now we're going to move on to Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for the week ahead? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead. I don't know what I did. Oh, there we go. Taurus. Taurus for the week ahead. Taurus for Monday. Ooh. Ooh. King of Wands. Tuesday. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Reversed. Wednesday. Ooh. Thursday. Well, looks like a fun little roller coaster ride to me. Okay, so Friday. <clears throat> Saturday. And Sunday. Sunday for Taurus, please. Ooh. Okay, so let's get the tea leaf cards for Taurus. I'm just going to pick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so 
Monday, the King of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is somebody who takes action. This is somebody that uh, has a vision and sees something and goes for it. So somebody is going to go for something. Okay? Uh, this is action. This person takes action. They see a passionate opportunity and they go for it. They see it and they take it. This is somebody who knows what they want. So you could have a fire sign if you, you know, that is coming after you. If you are the male watching, this is you. Yeah. Funnel. Period of frustration. Lessons to be learned. So we have somebody here that has to learn a lesson on Monday. It's going to be a frustrating day. It is. It's going to be a frustrating day. Maybe you're dealing with somebody. Maybe it's your boss. Could be a boss. Could be a father. Could be uh, somebody that is a male that is very prominent in your life that makes you frustrated. Okay, just saying. So, Monday looks as though it's going to be a frustrating day. I got it. Woo! That thing just flew. It flew. It flew and flipped. So there's somebody, somebody could flip. Oh, thank you, God. So somebody could flip. Could be, could be anybody in your life. This person is very passionate. Okay. On Monday. So this person is passionate and, and they can flip very feisty, very, very feisty. So you could have a feisty individual in your life that flips on you. Just saying. Okay, so we're talking about, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be anybody. It's somebody that is very feisty and fiery, and, and they flip. They flip their lid. Okay. On Tuesday, you're obviously going to be emotional, Taurus. You're going to be emotional. You're probably going to feel like you're unloved. You may, be, you may feel um, uh, like you're a victim of some situation. Pale, time to get out of this situation. So on Tuesday, it's like you got this person flips on Monday. And you have to learn some sort of lesson. And on Tuesday, you need to find, to find a way out. You have to find a way out. It's time to get out of this situation. This person may make you cry. This person could even be, you know, abusive. Just being honest. So I think you could be very emotional on Tuesday. You got to get out of this. It's like, it's like this is, this is, uh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's too late. You got to get out of this. There's, it's like both. This is empty and this is empty. It's like this, this isn't love. This isn't love. So on Tuesday, you're you're finding a way out. And there could be abuse here. You could be dealing with somebody who is abusive. Doesn't care who they hurt. Wednesday, we have the King of Swords and Ego. Triumph over troubles, obstacles. Yes. So we have an Ego here. Is that an Ego too? Ego. Um, yeah, I feel like you are going on Wednesday, you're going to be making a decision. Um, it's not an easy decision. I think that you are probably going to be dealing with an angry individual that is going to probably make you make a decision. Um, you're going to have to stand in your power and it looks like fly away from this, get out of here. So on Wednesday, I think Wednesday is you, uh, I think you are making a very wise decision on Wednesday. I mean, this is very wise. You're making a logical decision. You're making, you've got to make the best decision for yourself. I think that it's time to go. So on Wednesday, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually getting out of something. You are, you're, 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 you're actually getting out of it. So here it happens on Monday. It happens Tuesday. Um, you know you have to on on Wednesday. You're, it's like you're making the move, and you you could be dealing with an individual who is angry and upset. They're angry and upset at you. Okay, just saying. They're angry that you are that you are you know strong. They don't like your strength. They don't like your ability to to just get out of this situation. Thursday. A 
I just, I'm not ready yet. I feel like you're, you're, it's like you're making a firm decision to break free on Wednesday. It's like your decision has been made. You can't. And this person, whoever you're dealing with, is going to be angry that you're standing in your power. So beware on Wednesday. Thursday, Knight of Cups. You're, it's like you're dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable, doesn't have any love to offer. They don't care. Like I said, they don't care who they hurt. I don't know if I said it. I was thinking it. Um, this is a lack of emotion. Um, you may have engaged yourself with somebody that came in to sweep you off your feet and then dropped you like a hot potato. Didn't care about your feelings whatsoever, but they projected themselves to be Prince Charming when in fact they were, um, not. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Ear. Good news. Good news is coming on Thursday. But the Knight of Cups reversed. This is this is uh, no relationship growth. Maybe this person will just let you go and they won't chase after you. Hopefully that's the case. They'll just leave you alone. Friday. Five of Cups. Reverse, this is seeing, this is really seeing that there is an opp another opportunity. This is realizing, it's like seeing that opportunity, the Five of Cups reversed on Friday. There's like new prospects. I think that, you know, there's, there's a newfound faith. It's like, it's the end of grieving over this. I don't know if it's the end, but there's less, there's less grieving. It's like you're realizing that... Uh, there is another opportunity. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Yes, there is. So on Friday, it's like you're cutting something out, though. You are cutting something out. And it's very disappointing. Maybe you're cutting up pictures or you're cutting up uh, letters or something like that. You're cutting something out on Friday. Something is being cut out of your life. It's like you see it. You see an, another opportunity and it's like you just allow it. You allow it or you actually make the cut on Friday. There is some sort of disappointment. But this is like this is like getting over it with the five of cups reversed. It is. It's like starting to see that there's a reason. There is a reason why. It's like starting to see that, you know, I don't know. That there's a better opportunity. That you deserve something better than this. There may even be another opportunity that shows up. And it may show up here. You may not even be looking for a relationship because you've gotten out of something terrible. And all of a sudden something shows up. Somebody that has been listening to you or they've been watching or investigating or whatever. This person may come to help. I don't know what that means, but we're just looking at the whole week here. I just feel like you have somebody else. You do have somebody else here. Interesting. So Saturday, three of wands reversed. Now, this is dashed expectations. Wasted time. You're going to feel like you wasted a bunch of time, huh? On this, this person that betrayed you. But Saturday is, you know, dashed expectations. It wasn't prepared. Be careful. Do not take risks. You should have been more careful. Perhaps you, you are having regrets for taking a risk with whoever it was. Um... You didn't see it though. You didn't see it. So don't hold your, don't, don't, uh, beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up, but be careful in the future. Be careful in the future of, of such things. You know, for example, for example, Taurus, if you get involved with somebody who, this is just an example, say you, you, you jump into a relationship with somebody that is not over their ex. 
that's a, that's a poor decision. That person hasn't healed. That's just an example. You know, make better choices in the future. Um, if somebody wants to move fast, or if things seem too good to be true in the beginning, if somebody love bombs you, this is a love bomber, the Knight of Cups reversed. If somebody love bombs you and fills you up with all kinds of love in the beginning, before they even know you, that's a red flag. So I feel like somebody has taken a, a risk and they're, they're feeling bad about themselves on Saturday for, for making that poor decision. You know, but you only can learn. And now we have the lessons learned right here. Lessons to be learned way back here at the beginning of the week. This was all a lesson to be learned about taking risks. And this person, and maybe this was you, this King of Wands, somebody that acted impulsively and took a risk with an abusive person not knowing who they were. You know, just just because, just, just to have somebody. Take time to get to know somebody before you leap Okay, so anyway, I feel like we have somebody here that is, is being almost like abused by somebody else that they took a risk with. And now there's regrets for taking that. Now there's regrets for taking that risk. And you've got to cut this person out of your life. Maybe you hear something about this person with another person. You know, maybe this person was with another person and the news gets delivered. And this, this, this news... Um, tells you that you need to get out of this situation and you may feel bad about yourself for getting involved in the first place. This was a lesson to be learned. Now you've learned it. Could chalk it up to a lesson learned. I feel like on Saturday, you know, you're you're good you're you will you'll be seeing the situation differently. You will. But you may be sad that you wasted time. Anyway, Sunday. This is investment, relocating. You may be moving. Some of you may be moving. Um there's no more growth here. Um, stepping into a new experience. Yes, you guys are, are probably uh, deciding that you got to go someplace else on Sunday. I think you've already decided it. But maybe you're actually stepping out. You're actually like going, packing up and leaving, whatever this is. It's like you're out of here. So on Sunday, you're stepping into a new experience. Um... Also, for some of you, something you planted a long time ago, some seeds that you have planted a long time ago may, may have come to fruition. Somebody may be stepping into your life, okay? Maybe this is somebody that you um, knew when you were seven years old. <laughs> I don't know. That just caught, popped into my mind. Um, this is like, and this could be somebody stepping into your life. Okay, and you're and so now you're stepping into a new experience with them. Um, this could be somebody relocating to your area. Okay, just saying, or you relocating to theirs. This is a card of relocation to me. It is, but you are going to be stepping into a new experience, however it applies to you on Sunday. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Gemini, what do we got for Gemini for the week ahead? What do we got for Gemini for the week ahead? Monday, what do we got for Monday? Ooh, messages going back and forth with somebody on Monday, Gemini. Things are happening fast. This is triumphant news arriving quickly. Okay, something is going to happen quick. And this is messages, you know. It's just what you like, right? Tuesday. Hmm. Wednesday. Ooh. Thursday. Ooh. Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, you got the Knight of Cups upright, something you have waited for. Towards the end of the week, something that you have waited for is arriving. Could be your knight in shining armor, Gemini. Interesting. 
like this is all of a sudden something shows up. It could be a new relationship or something like that. Something that you have. This ship is arriving and this is a relationship at the end of the week. This is a new opportunity. So a new opportunity is being seized. Anyway, let's start at the beginning here. Um, let's get a tea leaf card. What do we got for Monday? What do we got for Monday? Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And Sunday. Okay, what do we got for Gemini for the week ahead? Monday, we got some messages coming back and forth, and this is this is this is things happening fast on Monday. Somebody communicating with you. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. This is telling me that you should you should communicate back. Make sure that you are the lines of communication are open and you are not withholding. If you want something to be successful, you have to put effort into it. So on Monday, somebody is going to be trying to communicate with you. They're going to be trying to move forward with you. Or, and you are being told to go for it. Do it. If you want to, if you want this to work out, increase your efforts on Monday. So Tuesday, Nine of Swords reversed. Now the Nine of Swords reversed is give deep thought. Give deep thought, and I think you are. You're giving deep thought. I think that you may be worried. You're worried about a relationship. You may you may have gut feelings that somebody that you're dealing with doesn't have good intentions. I think your gut is talking to you. Um, casket. Oh, jeez, I'm crying. I don't like that. This is Tuesday. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation on Tuesday. What's the date? The 15th. And this is sad. This is this is uh, not happy at all. Okay. Um, this is worried. You may have been worried about this person going out of your life. <laughs> wow. So uh, I'm sorry to bring you this message, but someone is going out of your life. This is the end of a situation on Tuesday. Wednesday, Seven of Pentacles, no longer investing in something that is dissatisfying. You may be dissatisfied. This is unreal. It's unreal. Horseshoe, good luck. <laughs> no longer investing, but this is good. This is a lucky break. You may not see it as a lucky break, but it is a lucky break. Um, the Seven of Pentacles reversed is... Um, satis dissatisfied, uh, you know, this, this, this situation that you have been in was dissatisfying anyway. It needed to end. And on Wednesday, something good is coming, coming out of this loss, whatever it is. There's no more investing in it if it's gone, right? But it's going to bring you something good. It's going to bring you something. So on Wednesday, some sort of good luck is coming in. Maybe this, this thing leaving gives you the opportunity to broaden your horizon someplace else. Thursday, there's a loss of a partnership. This is, this is no working together. It doesn't have to be a complete loss. This could be an argument. This could be an argument between two people. This could be a disagreement. It could be a disconnection. It could be a breakup. You know, it could be. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Oh my God. So on Thursday, you may have to make a decision or a choice in regards to a partnership and make sure that you are looking at this through a logical mind and not a, a mind of illusion, a fantasy. Okay. You may have a partner from your past or a partner that you're dealing with now that 
is in your life or coming towards you or something like that that uh, you had a disagreement with in the past or something like that and you need to be careful be careful of delusion you are not compatible with this person so keep that in mind you could have somebody that you are not compatible with that you don't work well together with that tries to fill you up with a pile of bullshit and you will have to um, be careful of them that is Thursday Friday this is a new opportunity, seizing a new opportunity on Friday, seeing the new opportunity. It's the end of stagnation. It's looking forward now. Woo, lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Oh my God. Yikes. So, woo, control your anger. That's a good one. <laughs> you got me rubbing my heart on that one. Anyhow, um... Five, that is on Friday. Control your anger. Somebody's really going to piss you off. And they may they may be the ones that see the opportunity to strike you. Okay? Somebody may, may poke you. Okay? This is seizing an opportunity. <laughs> you got somebody here that um, you have worked with, whether it's at work or it's an ex or whoever this partner is, that it's like the day before there's something that happens and it's like you probably see it and they 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 get they they it's almost like they see your vulnerability they see your some sort of vulnerability and they poke you and you could get really 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 angry on friday so beware beware you will be sorry if you don't control your anger um well saturday now this is getting prepared something has arrived um Something you have expected it has arrived. And I think that you, you see it and you're about ready to get on board with it. Whatever it is. Um, your ship has finally arrived. But you can't look back anymore. No more looking back, Gemini. So here on Saturday, there's an arrival of some sort. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Something that you have been waiting for is arriving. Could even be freedom. Because I see those birds. It could be freedom, whatever it is. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. You have been waiting for this. Praying for this. And now you're going to get it. So Saturday you're going to receive something. Could be, it could be a spiritual download of some sort that gives you some sort of clarity. Sunday. Now this is this is romance. This is a new relationship, or romance, uh, or uh, or relationship growth. This could also be an offer of love coming in. This is like somebody wanting romance. Could be a friend, advice from a friend. This could be emotional support as well. It doesn't have to bro you romance, but usually it is. You are going to be conversing with somebody on Sunday about a romantic interest. That's what that is. One of your friends is going to give you advice about your romantic interest on Sunday. <laughs> Interesting. So it looks as though on Monday you're going to be receiving messages. And you're going to need to communicate back and forth with whoever this person is. Make sure that you communicate. Put in efforts. Put in the effort to communicate. To, to keep the lines of communication open. Do your part on Monday. On Tuesday, something is ending in your life. And it's something that has been stressing you out and causing you sleepless nights anyway. You've been worried about it. It's like you've seen it coming. I think your gut has told you that this is ending. And yes, something is going out of your life 
or the end of a situation, and that is Tuesday. That would be the 15th. On Wednesday, you are no longer investing in something. There is no more growth. It's unrealistic. It's dissatisfying, but it's going to bring you good luck in the end. So this is this is a lucky break, okay? It's a lucky break. On Thursday, there is a partnership that really isn't compatible. It's not it's not headed in the right direction, or there's no there's no means to work together with this person. But you may be delusional and think that there is. You could have somebody here that's filling you up with delusion, and you need to be careful. So on Thursday, be careful of a partner or a person that is filling you up with uh, lies on Thursday. On Friday, lightning is going to strike, and somebody's going to see an opportunity. That the Four of Cups reverse is seeing an opportunity. Okay, somebody's going to see an opportunity to strike, and you need to be damn careful that you don't uh, get angry. Control your anger. You will be sorry on Friday. On Saturday, something is arriving that you have been getting prepared for. It's like right in front of you. All of a sudden, you see it. There it is. There it is. And this person, if it's a person, this person is wealthy. Okay, if what if it's not a person, if it's something else, it's going to. Uh, aid in your spiritual growth, whatever it is. Um, Saturday, you are receiving something positive in your life. It's, it's going to increase your abundance in some way. On Sunday, there is a friend that is going to give you advice, okay, about a relationship or a romantic partner, okay? It looks as though um, this person is a real friend and they are probably going to give you uh, sound advice, Okay, so that's what I have for Gemini. All right, Cancer. What do we got for Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What do we got for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> oh. Week ahead. Cancer, Monday. Monday. Ooh. We have to start right here. These flew right over the candle. I'm going to blow the candle out because you can't see it anyway. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, this is a wish being granted, Sunday, guaranteed success on Sunday. On Monday, there's not good news. Okay, Monday, there's not good news being delivered. It's not. Tuesday, there is uh, welcome. This is welcome news. Okay, so you go from bad news to good news. Okay. Um, Wednesday looks a little... Um, sad. <laughs> okay. Wednesday looks a little painful. All right, you may be feeling like you've been stabbed right in the back. <sighs> Thursday, you could be dealing with a father or a husband or you could be in control. You could have some sort of control. There's This is a card of order. I think everything is in order, under control. Or you, this, you could be dealing with a very masculine energy in your life if you are the feminine. Uh, Thursday, somebody's leaving. They're walking away from something that is emotionally unfulfilling. On Thursday, that is what this is. On Friday, this is... Um, uh, it's like it's, there's a, some sort of unnecessary evil. It's like somebody may have been uh, trying to avoid it. But rejection is God's protection. So it feels like something crumbles and it was because you are being protected. You may have been trying to avoid something, but I don't think you can avoid it. You really can't. There will be people that tell you that you can, but that is not the truth. When there is a universal change that is needed, 
there there is a universal change that is needed and it will happen you may be able to avoid it for a little while but you can't avoid it forever it's just the way it goes if it is false if it is built on false pretenses it will crumble it can only last for so long but this is a blessing in disguise and maybe on Sunday you see that this crumbling is a blessing in disguise something is going to crumble You could be being controlled. Whatever. We'll find out here. We're going to get some more cards. What do we have for cancer? We need one card for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, what do we got? Monday, not good news. Okay, that is not good news. You could be dealing with a negative Nelly, somebody that is a Debbie Downer, somebody that is stealing your energy, somebody that is lazy, could be you. This is not good news. Somebody could be delivering a message to you and it's not good news. Okay, whatever it is. Um, not unsuccessful plans. So something that you were hoping for is not going to be successful on Monday. You're going to receive the news or the message that didn't work out, whatever it was. On Tuesday, now this is a welcome message, okay, this is um, emotional support, perhaps. Um, torch. Spiritual developments, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. It makes sense. I think that you are going to have emotional support from somebody that is very spiritual, somebody that um, is very kind. Um, and understanding if they're going to help you they're so this is this is this is somebody that is going to help you somebody's going to help you to get over this bad news that arrives okay so on tuesday maybe it's a friend i don't know maybe it's a i don't know i don't, I don't know if a child could help you but it could be a child um but this is and this is spiritual development as well this is somebody who is very intuitive developing their senses still in the early stages but Nonetheless, they are developing their spiritual senses. So, Tuesday, you may be going through some sort of spiritual downloads even on Tuesday. Um, some sort of enlightenment or awareness. So, Tuesday, is a, it's a, it could be an emotional day as you are, um, it's almost like you're evolving spiritually in some way. You know, through uh, rejection or hardship is when you grow the most. So, this is like emotional growth. On Tuesday um, Wednesday is some sort of pain okay it's suffering that is suffering ten of swords is suffering it's pain and it's the end it's the end of something that was hurting you anyway dragon beware of self delusion you may have been delusional okay you may have been letting somebody stab you you may have been letting somebody hurt you because of your own del delusions this is the end of a painful situation. It tends to completions if you can come out of your illusion. Okay? So, but this is the if. Because delusion is here. It's on you. It's on you. Somebody is in a deceptive situation where there is betrayal. And there is a del illusion that is causing them to stay down it's like they're just not, they're, they're allowing themselves to be stabbed in the back they're allowing themselves to be hurt because of their own um delusion so wednesday it could possibly be the end if you uh decide to stand up for yourself and open your eyes and see it for what it is whatever that is wednesday is the end of of a painful situation if Make that a capital I and a capital F if you, you know, see things as they really are. Thursday, the emperor. Now, the emperor is somebody that takes charge. This is somebody that has a plan. Somebody that is very dominant and orderly. This person is strong-willed. Um, 
increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. You guys are going through a very, very spiritual week by the looks of things. Um, so Thursday, if this is re staying in control of your emotions on Wednesday or Thursday, you're in control. You're the boss. You're in control. And this is an increase in material wealth or your spiritual growth. I mean, what more can I say? Your ability to remain under control. And whatever this difficult situation is, is going to bring you something. It's going to bring you some sort of increase, which, which you will probably see towards the middle of the week. You're going to see an increase of some sort. Um, and it could be, it could be spiritually. You know, maybe, maybe your, um, ability to master your emotions increases because that's part of spiritual growth as well you're definitely going to be in control on thursday um friday eight of cups this is leaving behind emotional disappointment and you can only do that when you are in control of your emotions so I think that you've been betrayed and maybe, or there's been some sort of betrayal, whether you, you know, cause this could go vice versa. Somebody has betrayed another person, whether it's you or the other person, there's a, there's an element of betrayal in the earlier in the week. And you know, now somebody is walking away purse, pay attention to your finances. We have finances here which is crazy. So your finances may be affected. Somebody may be leaving or moving, which and it's going to affect your, your finances. Okay. Maybe they're moving and now you're going to lose that from the family income. You're going to lose it from the household income. You know, somebody's things are changing and it's going to affect your, uh, your money. All right. So pay attention to your finances on Friday. You know, somebody is leaving and it's probably going to cost you some sort of money in some way. Saturday. Now, this is a disaster waiting to happen that somebody has been trying to avoid. But like I said, you can't avoid it. You may, some people may tell you that you can avoid it, but that's a pile of shit. That's the delusion. Okay. The tower comes up in a reading for a reason, whether it's upright or reversed. It is here. It showed up in your reading for a reason. People want to, people want to just make it all butterflies and rainbows. Well, sorry, that ain't the truth. Okay. The tower reversed. This is shedding the light on a situation in which somebody has been trying to not see the light. Okay. They've been trying to not see it. compliments from an admirer on Saturday. So you're going to get compliments. And, and I feel as though whoever gives you, it could be from a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be whoever gives you these compliments. Um, they're saying it in truth. Okay. They're not, they are saying it just for the hell of it. Just saying, um, this person may be trying to build you up after you have faced some sort of disaster or some sort of upheaval in your life. Maybe maybe they see what you've gone through or they hear it through the grapevine. Whatever happens, it feels as though you're going to get some sort of compliment from somebody that has seen something destruct in your life. Now, this is a dream come true, whatever this is. This is this is healing. This is wish fulfillment. This is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. This is guaranteed success in some sort of situation on Sunday. Um, ooh, Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. So on Sunday, you will be taking a chance with somebody. Um, this may be something, somebody that can help you to heal from whatever this situation is. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. doesn't have to be. Um, but this is some sort of blessing. So this, this upheaval that you have experienced is a blessing in disguise. It really is. This is a blessing. This is a blessing in disguise. And this is a blessing in disguise because you got some sort of wish, a true wish. Okay. Something that you really deserve that is coming to you. That's what this is on Sunday. Um, Sunday is a beautiful day. It really is. This is hopes and wishes re uh, fulfilled. This is a renewal. This is a spiritual renewal. So you're definitely, this is a very spiritual week, a spiritually connected week, but make sure that you are not delusional. Um, 
doing something risky on Sunday, taking a chance, will lead <laughs> to wish fulfillment. So if you get some sort of, of opportunity to take a risk or to do something you've never done before, just do it. You will be very um, happy with the outcome. So that is what I have for your week. Starts off with not good news. You know, something doesn't work out. But then some sort of support comes in. Could be the same person. Could be a friend. Could be a friend. And this friend turns out to be more than a friend. Make sure that you are not delusional. And, and holding on to something that hurts you. If somebody wants to walk away and you're holding on to them just for the financial reasons, I'm telling you, just let them go. Because or if they have a roof or whatever it is that, that they're offering you or they have money, they help pay for your roof or whatever it is, let them go because you got an opportunity here that could make you very, 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 very happy. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Leo. Let's go on to Leo. What do we have for Leo for the week ahead? Leo. Monday. Ooh, the Ace of Cups, Leo. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. And one more card for Sunday. Ooh, options. Be careful of false beginnings, okay? On Sunday. Be really careful of false beginnings. You know, you may be... Towards the beginning, towards Monday, you may be offering a big old cup of love, okay? Maybe you're offering, being offered an abundance of love on Monday, okay? This is an outpouring of love. But if you see what's at the end, is a seven of cups. That's mirroring it, okay? Be very, very, very careful of your choices. Be careful of false beginnings, you know, if you have low self-esteem or low self-confidence, you know, you, you people may be may see vulnerability in you. They may see your vulnerability. So you're going to have to make some sort of judgment call. It, this is this the truth? Or is is whoever who's making an offer to you are they telling you the truth? On Wednesday, you may receive some sort of epiphany or, or uh, awakening or a wake-up call that says, you know. I don't know. This isn't this isn't stable. This isn't solid. Whatever it is. Now this is uh facing your insecurities. The 5 of pentacles reversed, okay? So coming out of darkness. So just be careful. You could be dealing with somebody who really doesn't have any love to offer you and they're presenting themselves like I said in one of the other ones. I mean, this is your love bomber right here. Somebody that fills you up with love at the beginning of the week. It's like you may realize that you have a bigger, better opportunity. I think by the end of the week, you're going to be thinking about your options because I just do. What do we got for Leo? One card for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I feel like you guys are just like itching to fall in love, right? You're itching. You're in a hurry, right? You want it now. You don't want to wait. You want this now. You need some attention right now. That's vulnerability. And I feel it. I feel it very, very strongly. I feel like you guys are very vulnerable at this time and you need to be really careful. Be careful that you are not making a poor decision based on um, wanting it right now. So Monday, we have the Ace of Cups. This is an outpouring of love. Okay, it is. It's love, right? That's what they want it to you to think it is, right? It's love. Big love. Get back to the basics. 
if it's if it's too much, if it's too good to be true, it usually is. Um, you may have a new love. You may have a new love that is in your life, and uh, it just seems like it's it's it's. I don't know. I feel like it's not. Let me get another card. Cobweb. Protect from negative forces beyond... Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You are protected. You're protected from somebody. This is this... Okay, I know what this is now. It's like somebody that has passed away. Because this is somebody that is, it is. Is protecting you. They want you to get back to the basics. Maybe somebody that has passed away is bringing you love. Maybe you need to love yourself. Because you're right here and you're in reversed. Maybe basics is you love yourself. You love yourself. Love comes from within. I think Monday is about self-love. Strength, reverse. That's a lack of strength, a lack of confidence, a lack of self-esteem. This is being vulnerable. Affairs with your family. So there's going to be family affairs that uh, break you down by the looks of things. They may make you feel weak. There's lack of strength and willpower on Tuesday. There's family issues on Tuesday, Leo. There is. Wednesday. Now, judgment is a card of truth. It's a card of awakening and epiphany. So getting some sort of epiphany on Wednesday. And this is also someone from the other side. So you've got somebody from the other side that is helping you this week. And it's like they want you to see. That, and I feel like they want you to see that love comes from within. And once you love yourself, and because this is reversed. You, somebody doesn't love themselves here. And that is the truth. And it's like they're vulnerable. And, and it's like your, your ancestors or your people that have passed away are saying, no, no, no. You're worth more than that. You're worth more than that. You're worth more than that. Anyway, judgment. Mice. Discord among friends or family. So you got problems this week. And you got somebody from the other side that is trying to make you see that. But you, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it because you. it's like... There's codependency here. I feel like you just need attention. And because your need for attention is so big, you're missing the bigger picture. It feels like you're going to get hurt by somebody... And that's and it's funny that I, that this is coming out. I was supposed to do the Leo three month reading next, but I skipped it because I felt like it wasn't time. I feel like Leos are rushing; they are rushing into something on some just for codependent reasons. A five of Pentacles reversed, and now this is coming out of darkness, seeing the light in a situation. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. You need to be damn careful, Leo. If you are insecure and you're just looking for somebody to hold and you choose the wrong partner, you, you're going you're gonna to get hurt. There's consequences for making the wrong choice, I'm just telling you. Too much concern. It's Thursday. Somebody sees your vulnerability. They see that you, that this is vulnerability. And yeah, it's like you just, and they just might want to have sex with you because you're vulnerable. Could be on a rebound type of thing. Five of Pentacles. This is, this is coming out of the darkness on Thursday. Somebody, somebody may be just coming towards you wanting to have sex on Thursday. Friday. This this person, whoever it is, they don't have no love, real love to offer you. They may tell you they do. 
This is, your, this is your love bomber who says all the right words. He says all the right things, but those are just words. It's not I. It's not true. Man. Dealings or relationship with a man. We have a man here that is not being honest with his feelings. He probably is saying that something that is not true. He may say that he has love for you or that he has feelings for you, but it's not true. If you are the man watching this, you may not be emotionally available. Maybe you haven't healed from somebody and you just, you know, you're looking to have sex. Somebody could get hurt here. Think twice before you involve somebody because karma, karma is right here. If you are not emotionally available and you go hurt another person and have sex with them just because, you know, you don't, you're only thinking about yourself, you're being selfish, well... It works both ways, man or woman. Anyway, Friday we have a man that is not emotionally available that is involved. Period. On Friday. This man is talking a good talk, but it's all words. That's Friday. Saturday, Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is somebody who finds their moral backbone to do the right thing, to start over, to go down a new path. This page gives you focus. Money path. Ooh, and this is a money path as well. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So on Saturday, you may get some sort of new opportunity to make money. All of a sudden, a doorway opens up. Take it. On Saturday, there's going to be something that, some sort of doorway or a pathway that opens up that gives you an opportunity to make money. But you have to find it yourself. Nobody's going to find it for you. You have to take that step. This is the, the focus. You find the focus to do it. You have to look for it. It's not just, I mean, it may fall in your lap. It may. But typically, you have to find it. So on Saturday, it's going to be more of a focus on money. On Sunday, be careful. This is a card of consequences for poor decisions. Sunday. Bo, you are highly thought of on Sunday. But this is be careful. Be careful with your choices. Make sure that you don't um, mess up your reputation by making poor choices. Right now, it's like you have a good reputation. There is an opportunity to mess up that reputation if you hurt another person or if you allow yourself to be vulnerable and easy to people that don't deserve you. So, Sunday, you're going to be making a complex decision that could affect your reputation. Right now, you are highly thought of. Be careful of false beginnings on Sunday. Be careful of the consequences. Now, consequences could be getting a bad reputation. For making poor decisions. People don't respect that, especially if you involve yourself in and hurt other people. Word travels like lightning these days with all social media. You hurt somebody. <laughs> Trust me, the whole world is going to find out about it. Right now, you are highly thought of. You are highly thought of. Be careful with your choices on Sunday. So anyway, that's what I got for you, Leo. I feel like this is a week of dealing with a person that doesn't have good intentions. But still dealing with them because of your sexual needs. Very sexual week. It's like your divine ancestors or your divine guides are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Wake up. You're worth more than this. Focus on your money. Focus on your job. Make a better choice. Don't, don't, uh, 
mess with your reputation because you you think you need this person or you think you need to have sex with this person or you want to have sex with this person or because it's about sex don't don't do it anyway leo that's what i got for you for this week virgo what do we got for virgo Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo for Monday. And Tuesday and Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hold on, I gotta take a drink. Of my soda. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and one card for Sunday, please, for Virgo. Ooh, releasing a load on Sunday. You're releasing. This is making a conscious change on Sunday. This is dropping something, dropping a burden, burden dropping some baggage on Sunday. Could be dropping weight. Could be a could be a significant weight loss. If you are on a diet, you may see a dump. This is like a dump. Anyhow, um, if it's not weight loss, this is a dump. Either way, it's dumping something. Let's get the tea leaf cards for you, Virgo. On Monday, there's a message coming in, Virgo, and it's a good one. Okay, it's a loving message on Monday. Yeah, see, see what happened right here. That was from your reading. Whatever. Anyway, ah, what a mess. And it's funny because I thought it was a mess. I thought it was a mess when I picked out your cards. When I shuffled, I shuffled them the other way, you know. And I thought, oh, it's a mess. But I didn't say it. So maybe it's a messy week. Maybe. And these cards fell out. They fell out for you. So we're just going to take these. Anyway, I do feel like it is a messy week. It's a messy week for you, Virgo. But Monday, there's there's a welcome loving emotional you know happy message coming in on monday something that is going to make you happy um somebody could be flirting with you on monday um tuesday there's a golden opportunity right here tuesday it's like you're, somebody is being offered a big opportunity on tuesday it's like here it is here it is just take it just take it wednesday not putting in effort thursday um, very, very, I'm just looking at this card right here. On Thursday, it's like you're in your power, right? You're very powerful. You're thinking about something. You have a decision to make. You're not letting anybody come near you. People are intimidated by you on Thursday. They're scared of you. I'm sorry to say that. I'm not. I don't know where that came from. Um, intimidated. Uh, Friday, you could be dealing with a child or somebody that is watching you on Friday. This is somebody that's angry. Look at this fist. Somebody is angry at you on Friday, or they're upset, or they're jealous, or they're watching you on Friday. They're not happy with you. This person may cause a conflict for you. This could be a family member. It could be a child. It could be just somebody that doesn't like you causing a co definitely somebody that doesn't like you. You It's like somebody's going to cause problems for you on Friday. On Saturday, you are in no hurry to make any moves. You're probably not wanting, you may, towards the weekend, you might not even want to uh, do anything. You probably are lacking energy on Saturday. You don't have any desire to just go anywhere, whatever. Uh, you may not be feeling very confident or you're feeling down or something like that. Um, it's just a lack of energy on Saturday. On Sunday, this is a dump. Okay, this is letting making a conscious change to get rid of something. Whether you're losing weight or you're dumping something out of your life that was stealing your energy, this is the dump. Okay, on Sunday. So we're going to start right here. One. These fell out. We're probably going to have some extras. 
I don't know what those were, but we're going to go like that. So, Monday. Page of Cups. This is a welcome offer of love. So this is a message of love coming on Monday. Basket. Recognition. Reward for merit. So Monday is a good day. Somebody is recognizing you and they're telling you how they feel. So you're going to receive a message of love. It's a good one. Um, reward. This is a reward of some sort. This is good news. Monday is good news. I don't need to go any further. Tuesday, this is this is a opportunity. This is a big offer. This is could be receiving something. You could be receiving a bonus or a payout or a gift from somebody. But this could also be you've manifested something on Monday. This is a golden opportunity. All you have to do is take it. Somebody, it's like you're being given something on Tuesday. Something solid, something stable. So this is a solid, stable opportunity that you have asked for. You've manifested this. So here it is. You asked for this, here it is. Wow, misunderstanding. So there is some sort of misunderstanding here and you're up against the wall. It feels as though... You're being giving, given something, but you may not see it as a gift. Somebody may say something to you and, and it causes a misunderstanding and you don't take it. You have to choose to take it. So you may go, something may happen on Tuesday from whoever this person is that has sent you love or sent you this reward. This is a reward. This is a reward too. It's like this, this is a reward, but there's something that happens that makes you not see it as a reward. Let's get one more card. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. So there's some sort of barrier. You're gonna you're gonna meet some sort of stranger. This is something that you asked for. It's like you you go through this doorway. And the opportunity is there. There's a wall of some sort. You have a wall up. You have a wall up. Anyway, on Tuesday, you're going to shake hands with somebody, a stranger. And it's going to be a very important handshake. It could, it could lead you to something, a solid opportunity. Something that you can actually bank on. <laughs> this could even have to do with a bank. I don't know. Wednesday. Eight of Pentacles. Now, this is not putting in any effort. Bear. Danger. Especially in money matters. Hmm. Wednesday. And this is... Because somebody could lose a job. Or they could leave a job. Be careful. Be careful. Something is going on here. Somebody may try to get you to sign some sort of contract. Be really careful. Just saying, be careful with signing any contracts during this time. Especially Tuesday or Wednesday or at any time this week. Do not sign any contracts this week, Virgo. Okay? Um, danger, especially in money matters. You need to be careful. There's, there's problems at work for some of you. Or they even could be at home. You could be dealing with somebody that... Uh, doesn't want to pay out on Wednesday. They don't want to pay out or they don't really want to work with you or they're, they're jealous of you. Somebody's intimidated by you anyway. It's pretty damn clear. So Wednesday, there is, there are, there are, make sure that you are focusing on your work. Make sure, because you are being watched, okay? So on Wednesday, make sure that you're working hard because people may be watching you. You may have somebody that is just waiting for you to mess up. So that is on Wednesday. You may have somebody that is waiting for you to mess up. Thursday, the Queen of Swords. Now this is uh, the, the Queen of Truth. She speaks the truth. She demands the truth. She knows the truth. So, 
fly a period of ill health and depression damn it all Virgo so on Thursday you may not you may be a have a sick day just being honest with you okay um, or you could be dealing with somebody who whose health declines this could be a family member a period of ill health or depression. You may need to help somebody on Thursday. Uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, if it isn't you. So somebody's not going to be feeling good on Thursday. Friday, Page of Swords. Obstacles to overcome makes sense with this card. There's going to be some obstacles. you got somebody that doesn't like you. Um, and you're going to have to stand your ground and you're going to have to keep going and not give up. So yes, there is some, some, some sort of depression here over how you are being treated by another person. It's like somebody has you backed up against a wall. So Thursday is going to be a day where... You know, there's, there could be a conflict. This is a conflict. Somebody could could cause a mild conflict in your life. It's going to be a challenging day. Thursday is going to be a challenging day for you. I mean, I, I wish that I could tell you something different. Knight of... Oh, it's reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. In no hurry. Feeling like you can't. There's a lack of confidence here. Hat. You will be playing a different role. So you're putting on a new hat and you have somebody here that's going to try to stop you. On, probably here. Or here. You have somebody here that is going to try to stop you. Okay? And you're going to have to put on your success hat. You're going to have to put on a different hat. You're going to have to do something differently. Don't let self lack of confidence stop you. You will be playing a different role and that means that you are going to have to be strong and you are going to have to be assertive and you are going to have to just go no matter what and not give up. So Saturday is a day where you put on the, that um, I can do it hat. <laughs> That's what it is too. Sunday. Ten of Wands. Now this is uh, dropping something. That's that dump I was telling you. This is dropping a burden, removing some baggage, making a conscious change. That is the Ten of Wands. Reversed. This is your balance is waiting for you. Great happiness. Great happiness. So Sunday is... Letting go of that burden, that fear, that lack of self-confidence, and going after happiness. So Sunday, you're, you're changing your tune. Your tune is changing. Let's get one more for Sunday. Apple. Temptation will test you on Sunday. You will be tempted. You may be tempted to eat something that is not healthy. Even though the apple is healthy, that's what I saw. Because you think of the Adam and Eve, the apple, that's te it's temptation. So you may be tempted to eat something or do something that isn't healthy for you. But I think that, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you'll do it or not. But um, it starts out as a beautiful week. It starts out with you receiving a loving message, you know, uh, something that makes you really, really happy. Um you know, and you may see this as a golden opportunity, or it could actually be a golden opportunity. Um, but there's some sort of barrier that you will need to break through. You will need to break through it to get that golden opportunity, to get the gold, to get the success, to get the wealth, to get the abundance, to win the situation, whatever, to, to get this uh, abundance or prosperity or whatever it is that they're, this gift, you are going to have to break through the fucking wall. To get it. Excuse me. Sorry. There is somebody that is against you. Could be somebody that you work with. There's somebody in your family. I don't know. There is definitely somebody that is against you. Um, and they don't. It's almost like. You need to be careful of this person. Okay. This person doesn't have good intentions. And they will. Um, 
do anything to keep you down, whoever this person is. Thursday, you may feel sick, okay? The period of ill health or depression, you may feel like, you know, you just need to really take a break. And then Friday, um, there is an obstacle with somebody who, who you could be dealing with somebody who gossips, somebody that causes problems, somebody that just um, acts like a child, somebody that is very immature on Friday that makes, you know, causes some sort of obstacle or challenge in your life. Saturday, you're in no hurry to move or to do anything, but you're about to put on a different hat, right? You're about to change your direction by the looks of things. You're, you're about to, you know what? I can do this. So you go through a period of depression here, but I think things change by the end of the week, okay? And you are going to be tempted to... do something that you shouldn't but I think that you will overcome it so that's what I have for you Virgo Libra what do we have for Libra Libra what do we got for Libra Monday. What do we got for Monday? Ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. Knight of Pentacles reversed for Tuesday. Wednesday, Eight of Cups reversed. What do we got for Libra? For Thursday, Five of Pentacles. Friday. Ooh. Saturday, please. And Sunday. Sunday is receiving something. Sunday, you're, Sunday you are receiving something. Somebody is giving you something, and whatever they are giving you, it's gonna help. It's gonna, it's gonna bring you balance. Could be receiving a payout. Could be receiving money. Could be receiving uh, an emotional, uh, an offer of love from somebody. Whatever it is, you are definitely receiving something this weekend, and it is going to make you happy. Okay, it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. It's going to make you happy. It's going to bring you balance. Things are going to balance out for you. But the week, the, the week starts off a little uh, troublesome. Okay, it does. All right, the Ace of Cups reversed on Monday. That is a lack of emotional fulfillment, right? Something isn't making you happy on Monday. Um, there could be a loss. There could be an emotional loss on Monday. Um, Tuesday, things are, are stagnant. They're stalled. Right? They're stalled and there's no movement on Tuesday. Um, so Wednesday, uh, it's like there's no going back. Somebody may have left and it's it's they're never coming back or something like that. I don't know where that is coming from, but that's what I just said. Anyway, um, the Five of Pentacles is being left behind, being ghosted on Thursday. Um, this is heartbreaking, but... On Friday, this is um, letting it, leaving it behind, realizing that you have to leave it behind. There is some sort of, um, you are going to be receiving emotional support from somebody by the weekend. That flipped. Oh, well, I guess that one's staying there, huh? Anyhow, um... Okay, so Monday. This is an emotional loss on Monday. So Monday would be like the 14th. Emotional loss. Not happy. I can't change it. I know that some readers can, you know, turn that right around to make it positive. But I'm authentic and that's the way it goes. So pig. <laughs> Beware of greed. You could be dealing with a pig. Somebody that is a pig. So, Monday, there's an emotional loss, and you need to beware. You need to beware, okay? Tuesday, this is stalled, stopped, no movement. Stopped, dead in, dead in their tracks. This is somebody that is, there's no movement. 
goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth this this loss and this is a loss as well it's upside down this loss is going to give you spiritual growth so on Tuesday um, maybe it could also this whatever this loss is you could get you could get money out of it even though you know maybe you've been in a period of stagnation and, and money has been a problem but now things are gonna change um, somebody is being stopped right in their tracks and it's probably going to help you in the money situation in some way. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wednesday, Eight of Cups reversed. There's, it's like there's no going back. The Eight of Cups reversed. Um, pay attention to your finances. I wonder if this is job related. I wonder if this is job related. Somebody could get cut loose from a job. And it leads to something better in the future. Just saying. Um, there's definitely emotional loss here with this and this. This week there is. There's some sort of loss that is going to affect your emotions. And it may even affect your bank account. I just got to be honest with you. Okay. It may affect your bank account. So pay attention to your finances. Um, hmm. Thursday. Now this is being left behind, being ghosted, um, being cut out. So I'm not sure. I, I don't know if this has to do with work and there's layoffs or I don't know. I don't know. But this is being, you know, left behind. Um, tower. Now this is this right here. Solid foundation. Success with effort. Now, we talked about this earlier. That's not the truth. This is not a solid foundation. The tower is not, I mean, it's not a solid foundation. <clears throat> Success with effort. This is what gets people stuck, is this kind of stuff. There's insecurities here. Thursday, it's like somebody is begging. They are begging somebody for a chance. And we, we got somebody here that is holding on to a false sense of security. We need to get another one. Table, hard work ahead. There is going to be some hard work ahead. There is. There's insecurities. You're going to be dealing with some insecurities. I think there's something that crumbles. And you're going to have to rebuild the foundation. You're going to have to rebuild the foundation from the ground up. It could be a work foundation. It could be a home foundation. <clears throat> it's like you're on your own. And it's realizing it. It's realizing it. That you got some hard work ahead of you. On Thursday. You're on your own, too. And you are on your own. You're going to have to rebuild the foundation. Three of Swords reversed. Now, this is letting go of a painful situation. This is healing. It's time for a recovery. Going through some sort of recovery on Thursday. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. <laughs> you should accept valid criticism on Thursday. So maybe you're going to be criticized on Thursday. I'm sorry. So Thursday, you're probably going to be criticized. I do apologize if nobody wants to hear that. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to leave the past behind. It's time to go your own way. That's what this is. Somebody doesn't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So Thursday is, you know, hearing it. You got to let this go. Friday, Knight of Cups. Now this is a new romance, a new offer of love. Hence the word new 
N-E-W. This is emotional support. So this is relationship growth. It's a very sensitive, intense day. Triumph over troubles, obstacles. You're going to you're going to be successful over these obstacles. This is victory in a relationship. So this is you. Somebody coming in. This is this is an offer of love coming in. A message of love. Very romantic. This is a very romantic person, very caring and very compassionate that is going to help you with something. This person is going to help you with some sort of obstacle on Saturday. They're going to nurture you. They're going to try to take care of you on Saturday. Six of Pentacles, this is receiving something on Sunday. Ooh, wish will not be granted on Sunday. Oh my God. So on Sunday, you're not, some sort of wish is not going to be granted. You may be wishing to receive something from somebody that it's almost like you're wishing for somebody to come back. That's not going to happen. You got another opportunity here. This has all happened for a reason, whatever it is. And I know that you don't want to hear it. Somebody doesn't want to hear it. On Sunday, I feel as though you may realize that it's time to accept uh, something. It's time to accept. Let's get one more card. Older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman. You could be dealing with an older woman who owes you money and it's rightfully yours and you're not going to get it. This could be an inheritance that you are not going to get. It could be, it could be a boss or somebody that owes you money and then you're not going to get it. This is somebody who doesn't want to give you what you deserve. That's sad. I hate people like that. Anyhow, so yeah, there's something that you are not going to get that you deserve. And you're going to get, you're going to realize that. You're probably going to, you might even be told. You know, you might even told, be told that, no, you're not going to be getting it. Could be dealing with a pig. Anyhow, that's what I got, Libra. Greedy pig. Good luck. Who's up next? Ah, oh, Libra. Scorpio. 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 Okay, Scorpio. You're up next. Week ahead. What do we got for Scorpio? For the 14th to the 20th, what do we have for Scorpio? Monday. Ooh, Queen of Wands, very attractive. We have a very attractive woman right here. Very powerful. <laughs> Number two. Well, that's Tuesday. Wednesday. Justice, this is a ruling in your favor or something happening for you in your favor. Justice being served, but this on Wednesday is a rejection or a loss on Wednesday. So Monday is a very, very exciting. Okay, it's an exciting day. It's an attract. You could be uh, looking. If you're the feminine, you are very, very attractive. You are very hot. People are attracted to you. Um, if you are the male, you could be. You could have your eyes on this person. This person is very sexy. Very sexy. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius on Monday. Doesn't have to be. Um, and Sunday. 
So, Scorpio, first, number one is a day, uh, or Monday, sorry, I'm a little off-center. Monday is a day of, of looking really good, feeling really good, vibrating at a high level. People are feeling you. They're very attracted to you. Um, it's, it's a very, very, uh, you know, determined day. This is, this is a very determined. If you are the male watching this, you have a, there's a, you have your eyes on a very determined woman who has a lot of confidence. This is somebody with high, high, high confidence. Let me just bring this down. Sorry, I moved the camera a little bit. Uh, Tuesday is a day of justice. It's a day of a decision being made. There's a decision. I think it's going to, whatever this decision is, it's going to work out in your favor with that justice card. Um, Wednesday is uh, a loss of some sort or a rejection or a lack of reciprocation. Thursday is an awakening of some sort, an epiphany, some sort of truth. Um... This is the, some sort of truth being revealed. This is the truth as well. Um, Thursday is happiness. You're happy. Thursday is a very happy day. It's a sunny day. It's a good day. Or Friday. This is Friday. Friday is a good day. Thursday is the epiphany, the awakening, some sort of truth coming out. If you guys are going to court this week and you are waiting for some sort of judgment, there will definitely be a judgment made this week. But I have to tell you, this is a card of karma and this is a card of karma. So this is absolutely going to be a karmic week for you. It is. Anyway, this is the Eight of Wands reversed. This is a uh, shutdown in communication. It is. There may not be much communication going back and forth, or there could be a delay in communication on Saturday. There's, there's not a lot of communication going on on Saturday. Sunday is a day, could be a day of chaos, could be a day of upheaval, needing to adapt to some sort of change on Sunday. Um, let's get one more. Let's get the rest of these. Um, so this is definitely a karmic w week and in between both of these karma cards, there could be some sort of loss. Okay. Could be a financial loss. It could be any kind of loss. Okay. But this is some sort of a wake up call. So in the middle of the week, you're going to get a wake up call. Um, but whatever this wake up call is in, is entails, there is some sort of happiness that comes out of it. Okay. Cause this is happiness. This is you, you know, this is like a rebirth. Both of these cards are rebirth. Now, what about one card for Sunday, please? Okay, so Monday is a card of attractiveness. It's a card of high vibration. It's a very exciting day. Um, you may be, you may get some new vision, okay, or you may be on fire, okay. You may be, or if you are, especially the feminine. If you are the feminine watching this, you are. Uh, <laughs> hot, okay. You're very, 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 very hot. Okay. Um, if you are the male, obviously, like I said, this is, this is somebody that you have your eyes on and this person is sexy, very sexy. This is, this is, this is very forceful. This is a person that is very powerful and has a lot of energy. It's going to be a very high energy day. Feisty, very feisty, feisty energy. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. You may have somebody who's jealous of your looks or they're jealous of your power. They're jealous of you. This is jealousy as well. So just be careful. You may have somebody that is jealous of you. You're, you're, you're in power. You're in control. You're the boss. You know, I mean, it's like everybody wants to be you on Monday. And especially if you if you are the feminine this is the energy you're taking on if you are the male you're dealing with a very powerful woman and um you may have she may you may be jealous because she's so attractive then she has other opportunities i mean this person has multiple opportunities she's so sexy so anyway um monday is a day uh where you need to be really really careful make sure you don't get a chip on your shoulder especially if you're the feminine we could have a feminine here that gets a chip on their shoulder because of their looks just be careful about that 
Anyway, Monday Monday looks like it, it's a very feisty, fiery day where you're probably like, woo, you know, like, oh, you're on fire, you know. So you could be act impulsively because you're so excited. It's a very, you're, you're, you're feeling excited on the inside. So it's a very excitable day on Monday. You need to be careful. Take care. You got some enemies. So you may be all excited and you may be losing focus because you're so excited over something and you got some en enemies that are waiting to swoop in and get in your hair. So just be careful. Tuesday is a day of karma. It's also a day of justice. Um, justice, um, a decision is being made that is going to bring some sort of balance to your life. Trouble. Trouble. Trouble, accusations. If there is any court proceedings, there could be some trouble. It's like from the fire. It's like from the fire pan to the fire, or, or the fire pan, the, the pan, the frying pan. It is Mercury retrograde shadow started. Like I think it started today. So beware of my speech. Anyway, um, there is going to be some accusations made against you. There is. You definitely have somebody that is jealous of you. There is no doubt. So be prepared. And this could be karma. It could be some sort of karma. So it looks as though Tuesday is going to be a day of trouble and accusations. Be careful. Wednesday. This is not getting what you deserve. Um, not receiving what you deserve, or somebody didn't get what they deserved, whether you delivered their karma or not. This is somebody that did not get what they deserved. And on Wednesday, disappointment in a friend or a lover. So there could be a lack of reciprocation. There could be a rejection. There could be somebody that, there could be a loss. Okay? There could be a loss of a friend or a loss of a lover. Um... <laughs> Thursday, we have the Judgment card. Judgment is a card of truth being coming out. So, secret is being revealed, or some sort of uh, some sort of karma. Something is about to be revealed that is going to change everything, and this has to do with a friend or a lover. Okay, this person is going to cause you some trouble. You got you got a troublemaker in your life, and it has to do with karma. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. You got a beautiful week. Not. It is, you know, the Pluto Saturn energy that we have going on, which is going to affect you in a big way. But anyway, there is a chain of events that are going to affect your life this week, and it's going to be big. Big karma here. So Thursday, um, somebody's about to get a wake-up call. It's like that domino effect. You know. Shit's about to hit the fan. So Thursday, um, wake up call. Epiphany. Secrets coming out. Truths being revealed on Thursday. Be prepared. Friday. Now the sun card is rebirth. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of happiness. So, I mean... Chair empty. Someone leaving your life. And that may make you happy. That may make you happy. I mean, I don't know. Somebody's leaving your life. I can't, I can't make it up. Saturday. Now, this is, this is a, a block. This is done. This is stop. No more If somebody's leaving your life, yes, yeah, somebody may get blocked. This is blocked, stopped, uh, dead in their tracks. This is, this is no more communication. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Somebody is about to, uh, uh, Fox is very sneaky, very shady. This is your jealous, jealous person. Jealous, somebody that doesn't like you, somebody that is, is they may be trying to stop you from being successful. I'm not sure what this is. Um, you got to be careful, okay? Friday, somebody, or Saturday, somebody is about to be stopped right in their tracks by a very sly, sneaky, shady individual or something like that. Uh, Sunday, we have change. Okay, this is change. This is choices. This is adapting to the change, to the events that happen. Sunday, you will be adapting to whatever chair is being empty this could you could even be cut loose of your job a chair be this is an empty chair whatever this is happening there is going to be an empty seat 
whether it's at your job or it's at home or wherever it is in your life, it's going to be an empty seat. And you're going to need to adapt to it by the end of the week. Oh, danger, especially. It could be at work or it could be at home. Somebody could be moving out of the home and it's going to cause financial issues. Whatever the case, or, or it's at work. So either way, there is um, going to be some financial issues this week because, uh, and this could be a boss. This Queen of Wands could be a boss. Um, somebody is making a decision this week. They're making a decision to let somebody go. And you are directly involved. This event is going to affect your life in a big way. And this all has to do with karma. It's go going to also affect your finances. You definitely have somebody that here that is working against you. Um, definitely. There's, no, there's a lot of disappointment in these cards. I think there is. Enemies. Trouble. Disappointment. Effect, uh, events that will affect your life. Someone is leaving your life. Shrewdness, especially in business. Danger. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Uh, good luck. Sagittarius is up next. Hi Sagittarius, you're up next. What do we have? What do we got for Sagittarius? Monday. Ooh, looking good up for Monday anyway. Tuesday. Sagittarius, Monday looks like you are stable, solid. You are doing quite well. You're enjoying life. Things are looking good. Everything is great on Monday. Tuesday, there could be a loss or you may be going down the wrong path. Okay, but Wednesday looks good. You got an opportunity waiting for you to take it. Thursday, great personal fear, distrust, not trusting somebody. Uh, hard feelings. The world is out to get you, right? On Thursday? Is that what you think? Friday. Uh, seeing a situation clearly. Saturday. Oh, Queen of Cups reverse. Sunday, please. Oh, good news on Sunday. This is good news. So this is an invitation or an offer. This is an exciting new opportunity. If you are single, this could be a new suitor coming into your life. Somebody that may be a little bit younger than you. Somebody that is very well, well matched for you. If you are single on Sunday, you may on Saturday, you may be feeling emotional. It could be an intense day. You may be feeling like... You know, you're a victim of all the challenges that life has sent, has sent your way and you're pouting or whatnot. But on Sunday, things, you know, you're about to get some sort of good news or a message from somebody that makes you feel better. It starts out as very positive on Monday. You're probably very optimistic. You're doing well. Things are looking good. You're enjoying life. What do we got? Wednesday looks good. You have a golden opportunity waiting for you to take it, but you may not see it. Okay, You have to go through some sort of doorway to see this opportunity. If you don't go through the doorway, then you won't see it. Thursday, you're feeling um, just hard feelings. You're feeling distrustful. You may hate the world. Um, anyway, let's get a card for Tuesday. Wednesday. What do we have for Monday? We have somebody that is very, very uh, resourceful. This is somebody that can take care of themselves very well. This is somebody that knows their value, is a hard worker, successful. Someone is leaving your life. Someone is leaving your life on, on Monday. There's going to be an empty seat. You may be going your own way.
This could be starting your own business. Or this could be becoming independent. There could be a this could there there could be independence on Monday. This could be somebody actually becoming like single on Monday. Or leaving a job. You know, a chair can be your desk. So there is somebody uh that is is going to become independent, okay? A chair is becoming empty on Monday. On Tuesday, the page of pentacles reversed is somebody who lacks integrity, somebody that doesn't have focus, somebody that loses focus really easy, somebody that has a wandering eye that doesn't follow through, doesn't doesn't uh, really want to learn new things. This is somebody that is childish and stubborn and um, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Here we go. That's who this person is. So... On Tuesday, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, there is somebody here that is undependable and indecere, insincere, and there's going to be a loss because of it because they can't focus. They keep getting distracted. Somebody doesn't. Somebody is lazy. You know, if you don't, if you don't uh, take initiative, 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 then there you will lose. So. Um, Wednesday, Ace of Pentacles. Now this is a potential for success. This is a potential for uh abundance. So it's like but you got to take it. You got to you got to go through that doorway. You got to go through that path. So this has manifested a big opportunity, but you you may not see it. You may you may not see it. Hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. So you have an opportunity to go someplace. Take it. Thursday, nine of wands reverse. Now this is great personal fear. This is avoiding challenge. We got somebody here that has been avoiding challenge. Distant, a distant, or dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you on Thursday. They may be avoiding you though. They're thinking of you, but they are avoiding you. Maybe they feel like you won't, you won't see them. Somebody that doesn't live near you is thinking about you. They may be worried about you. Thursday or Friday. This is Friday. This is seeing a situation clearly, making a decision. Fair woman dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. <clears throat> so you will be making a decision. On Friday, this is seeing a situation clearly about a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Receiving clarity. <laughs> Saturday, Queen of Cups reversed. Very, very, very emotional. Ear, good news. So you're going to be, and this is good news as well. This weekend, you're going to receive good news. You're going to be feeling very emotional. And you may feel like you're, you're never going to get what you want. But I think that you are. You're going to hear something. By the weekend, you are going to hear something very positive. You don't you don't sense it though. You may think that because it's like you're not you're in you're not getting the intuitive message. I think you may have a woman that is going to help you. You may be giving up hope. Page of Wands. This is good news. Climbing towards success. You are about to receive a successful opportunity. You're climbing that ladder. You really are. By Sunday, you're going to you're going to be like, "Oh my god, thank you." And this is very grateful. So, um this is on Sunday, you're going to receive a message that excites you.
This is the new path, the new doorway that is opening up. It open, it starts to open up in the beginning of the week. By the end of the week, you're going to be excited because you're climbing the ladder. You are climbing towards success. This is an exciting new adventure. It's like an exciting new opportunity. So, you know, you may feel as though things are not going your way. You may feel like you're dealing with somebody that is insincere and they're not telling you the truth and that, you know, they're not going to give you what they said they were going to give you or whatever. But I think that, you know, you are going to get it. You're going to get whatever it is that you're looking for. You may have been in a state of confusion. Maybe it wasn't happening fast enough. But anyway, good news is coming by the weekend, so don't let any despair get in the way. You may you may feel like, yeah, things this person isn't working on it. They're not doing anything about it, but I think they are. I think they are. But the beginning of the week there is this is a, an empty chair. Someone is leaving your life. And whatever this this leaving is, it's going to bring you some sort you're going to be it's going to put you in charge. It's going to give you independence. It's going to make you feel good. You're going to be grateful for it in the end. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I started picking up the cards with the camera off. Here's what it is. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? the week ahead the 14th to the 20th what do we got for Capricorn things happening fast look at this I don't know what is going on things are happening fast for Capricorn <laughs> it's weird how shit happens Monday ooh could be a change in your home Tuesday ooh definitely we got some endings here endings endings Monday and Tuesday so something this is these are both endings uh, Wednesday Thursday Friday please Saturday and Sunday It flew out. That's the one we're going to take. Ooh, it's emotional on Sunday. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We're going to have to get these tea leaves. So, Monday, there's there's an ending. Tens are endings or completions. There could be the end of a painful situation. Um, somebody could be moving at moving. Okay, with that Ten of Pentacles. Or they're making plans to move. There could be, um, this is a, this is, it could be the end of a legacy, the end of a family dynamic, something in your family, something. There's, this is the end of a painful situation on Tuesday. Definitely endings here, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday is making a decision to focus on the future and leave the past behind. So this is the crossroads where you make a decision, a choice. Thursday, um, leaving something behind, coming out of the darkness. Uh, Friday, you are receiving something. You are receiving something. I don't know what, but whatever this is, it's going to help you to bring balance to your life. Um, you're going to be holding on to something on uh, Saturday, holding on to something that is solid on the weekend but on Sunday it's very emotional there could be an emotional loss um, you could be dealing with a person that is very emotional on Sunday you could be moving this week I don't know if you are but you could be um, this is receiving something from somebody one card for Sunday please All right, what do we got for Monday? Now, the Ten of Pentacles is, you know, Tens are completions. And this is an establishment. There could be, you know, something coming to end to an end in your home or in your job on Monday. 
camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Don't give up. Just because there's an end of a relationship or the, there's an end of something that was stable at one time, don't give up. Your perseverance will prevail. There's going to be some problems because that's here. Now, this is the end of a stressful situation. It is. The Ten of Swords is the end of a stressful situation where it has been very, very stressful. There's been defeat. You may be feeling defeated on, on Tuesday because something else has ended, whether at home or at work or whatever. You may be feeling defeated, but that wish wasn't granted for a reason. It, it, it all happened for a reason, and I know that, you know, you, you may wish that you could go back, or you may have wished that didn't happen, but everything does happen for a, 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 a reason. So I feel like there's definitely an element of, of being hurt on Tuesday that all of this has happened. So um, Wednesday, Two of Wands. Now this is the moment of decision. It's the moment of choice. Uh, when you get the two of wands. So a decision is being made on Wednesday. And you got a two-faced friend. And this is two as well. You have a two-faced friend um, that is probably talking behind your back. Okay, Capricorn, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that scared me and it probably scared you too. <laughs> so everything happens for a reason reason and I tell people that all the time during my readings. There is no such thing as coincidence. There is no such thing as coincidence. So believe it. Okay. So towards the middle of the week, there is going to be some sort of sudden uh, scare. Okay. There is. There is. Okay. Um... It happened to be one of my old friends that I haven't seen in a long time. Okay? Long time. Just just showed up at my house and um, it was quite a shock. It scared me though because of the dog. So um, I hadn't seen this person in a long time. So it was, you know, obviously once I stepped out onto the porch and I, and I saw, I, you know, I, I uh, wasn't scared anymore. But anyway, um, it did scare me for a second. But anyway, um, beware, okay? Beware. There's probably going to be an unexpected visitor, okay? You're probably going to have an unexpected visitor. And now I'm smoking a cigarette because I was so... It shook me up. It really shook me up. Anyway, we're going to move on to month number three. So we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is um, coming out of the darkness, seeing the light in a situation, going through some sort of recovery, um, needing to have faith in whatever whatever has happened. You're going to need to have faith. Um, there could be a financial loss of some sort this week. Um, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. So a change is coming for you, Capricorn. It will not always be this way, okay? There is some sort of loss. I know there is. It feels it feels as though this, this starts out as a very painful, you know, beginning. Um, Friday. Now, this is receiving something. But there is a misunderstanding. You are up against a wall on Friday. Um, somebody is putting a barrier up against you. They're putting a wall up against, they're stopping you from receiving something on Friday. Somebody has, uh, is up against you. Somebody is up against you on Friday. Not good. I'm going to get another card for that. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Maybe you're going to receive something from a stranger. Somebody is going to help you. Hopefully that's what this is on Friday. They may even give you, uh, give you a way to step over this barrier. You're definitely going to meet with a stranger this week. 
this meeting is going to be prominent. Could happen on Friday. Saturday. Queen of Pentacles. This could be you or it could be a family member. I don't know who this is, but this Queen of Pentacles, she ha she's holding on to something. She has a solid opportunity here on Saturday. So I'm not sure if you guys are moving. You may be moving in with somebody who has, you know, something to give you. They have something solid, stable to give you. Recognition. Reward for merit. You're going to be recognized. Somebody's going to help you. By Saturday... Um, you're going to, this is a reward and this, she's got a reward in her hands. So this is a reward. You're going to be rewarded in some way on Saturday, um, for this perseverance, perseverance, um, and Sunday queen of cups reverse. This is emotional. So whether you're going to be very emotional or you're dealing with somebody that is emotional, we have a feminine that is, is going to be very, very, very emotional. This could be a ma masculine as well. Masculines can get emotional too. So this is an intense, emotional person. Teardrops. Oh, God. Great personal sorrow on Sunday. So there's going to be some tears shed on Sunday. Um, sorry to end it like this, but this is reality. So... Sunday is going to be an emotional, uh, it could be even happy tears, but it says great personal sor sorrow, so I doubt it. I doubt it. There's sadness. There's sadness over this crisis that you have been through. There's sadness over this wish not being granted. There is. So, I mean, I can't make it up. I'd, I'd love to, but I can't. So Monday starts out as you needing to persevere. There's going to be a problem on Monday. It's probably at your job or at home. On Tuesday, you're going to be feeling defeated because some sort of wish has not been granted. On Tuesday, you are going to be making a decision, a choice, and you're going to have to choose a new path. Okay? You do have a two-faced friend that is involved that has, is causing you the, to make this decision. Okay? They did something to you. Thursday, um, you may be feeling insecure, you're feeling ghosted, left behind, like this is a nightmare, and uh, but things are not always going to be this way because you're going through a transformation. Things, you know, you're shedding your old skin, you're shedding your old ways. A change is absolutely coming, and what does a caterp caterpillar turn into? A butterfly, okay? Friday, there is a wall being put up. There's a barrier, but there is going to be a meeting with a stranger and you are going to receive something from this stranger. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a new contract, maybe even a new place to live. I don't know what that is, but could be. Basket uh, with Queen of Pentacles. We have somebody here that has something solid for you. It's like they have something for you on Saturday. Could be, I don't know if it's keys or what it is. It doesn't have to be keys. I don't see any keys, but that just popped into my mind. This is some sort of recognition. You're going to receive some sort of recognition and you're going to receive a reward for this situation that you have persevered through. And on Sunday, there is teardrops and sadness over the whole scenario. So that is what I have, Capricorn. Um, And we are on to Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius for the week ahead? What do we have for Aquarius for the week ahead? Ooh, good news starting on Monday. So that is good news as an invitation or an offer from somebody that is very well suited for you or somebody that is good for you. Okay, this is a positive uh message coming through something good really good news on monday whatever it is tuesday um seeing the truth in a situation um the truth that is the truth um wednesday this is the truth so you got the truth these two days um definitely somebody's mask is coming off here on number two or on day number two um coming out of denial seeing the truth this is some sort of truth as well. This is also a card of karma. Ooh, a wish being granted, something you asked for. Here it is. And this is a wish being granted as well. Your wish is, seriously, both of these cards is a wish being granted. If you've been waiting for some sort of truth to come out, it's going to come out. Okay. Ooh, 
Avoidance. Somebody's been trying to avoid. Can't avoid it. We already talked about this with another sign. But somebody is put, being stopped right in their tracks. And somebody is probably relocating and investing in something else. Perhaps some seeds that you planted a long time ago are coming to fruition on Sunday. You will be thinking about it. You will be thinking about what your next steps are, whether you should stay, whether you should go, what you should do next. Whether this is worth it, what you should invest in on Sunday. Let's get the tea leaf cards. So, what do we have for Monday for Aquarius? Good news is arriving on Monday. Something is, is going to, some sort of message is going to come through that you is going to uh, tell you something and it may excite you. Try not to get distracted. You're gonna you're gonna receive a message from somebody that really excites you. Um, this person may you know invite you to go somewhere or ask you out on a date or whatever it is. It's gonna it's going to uh, spark your curiosity and it's gonna make you happy. Whatever it is, vulture, <laughs> depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This person isn't against you. You may be afraid. You may be afraid. It's like you get this message from somebody and you may think that they're out to get, to get you. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Tuesday. Two of Swords reversed. Now this is seeing the truth in a situation. Bowl. Plenty of material things. You're going to have plenty. Plenty on Tuesday. It's a card of plenty, plenty of truth, because this is truth, two of swords reversed. There's no need to hold on to anxiety or resentment. There isn't. This may be letting go of anxiety, because there's anxiety here. And this is letting go of anxiety. You have so much. There's no reason to worry. Let go of your worries on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, this is an awakening. This is the truth. And the truth comes out here, too. So some sort of truth. You could be dealing with a vulture and you got a new opportunity. Somebody that is better suited for you. Perhaps you have been depressed. Because this was holding on to something, the two of swords, two of swords upright. You may have been depressed. You got this new exciting. This could be a new suitor. This could be a new suitor, and you have that. You you have this new opportunity with somebody, but you're dealing with a vulture that is against you. You have plenty of material things. Don't hold on to this person for material reasons. Just saying. Anyway, this is this is an awakening. This is an epiphany. This is somebody that may want you to give them a chance. Feeling tied down or frustrated. You have been frustrated and tied down to somebody. I think that you are stuck with somebody that you don't want to be with. And you have a new opportunity here. And you're going to receive communication from this new person. But you have to make a decision. You have to, and that is the Two of Swords. You got to make a decision. This is a card of karma as well. If you don't act in your own integrity, you will receive karma for that. So we do have somebody that is definitely feeling tied down and frustrated. We are on Wednesday. Thursday, we have the Star card. This is a card of hope. It's a card of wishes. It's a card of renewal. Key, successful outcome to your problems on Thursday. It's like you ask for an answer and you get the answer. Uh, if you ask for an answer to this situation, you will get the answer. And this will be the key. It will give you the opportunity to unlock a new door. But whether you unlock that door or not, well, the key will be in your hand now, won't it? So, successful outcome to your problems should you... Um, listen to and believe in what you hear. It's like you will receive a message. You're gonna and from above. Okay, this is a message from above. This is a blessing. It's like they're trying to bless you. 
Now this is avoiding upheaval. You've been avoiding disaster. Somebody is living in a false sense of security, maybe at home, you know. The structure is, is you know, it's, it's a structure. It's a house, right? It's a house. It's got all those things in it, you know. You've built a foundation with somebody, but it doesn't, it's false, okay? Okay, vacation. It's time to take a vacation. Let's plan a vacation. Plan a way out. You have plenty of material things. Fuck the house. Excuse my language, that came out for a reason. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's sad. It's really sad to stay someplace if the, that portion is for you just because of the assets. You're not acting with integrity. Anyhow, it's time to take a vacation, plan a vacation. Sunday or Saturday, Knight of Pentacles. This is this is stalled. This is somebody that is stalling. Not planning. Younger man. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Looks like a woman to me. Anyhow. So there is dealings or you could be if you are the male watching this and you're bisexual or you're you're gay, you, you may have dealings with a younger man. Or if you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who is dealing with a younger man. If you are the woman watching this, you have a younger man that uh, you are stalling from. Somebody is stalling. Um, there is definitely a younger man in the picture here. So on, on Saturday... Um, this is not taking any action. Not taking any action. On Sunday, thinking about, is this worth it? Is it worth it? Gong. An, an exciting event on Sunday. Something is going to happen on Sunday that makes you think, should I even be here anymore? Why am I here? You could be dealing with somebody who wants to go on a vacation by themselves. Maybe they're going to meet another man. Just saying. Just saying. If that portion is for you. Anyway, I feel as though Monday you're going to receive... If somebody in your scenario is going to receive an invitation. Could be an invitation to travel. Could be an invitation, you know, to travel with somebody. I think that um, somebody has been restricting themselves, avoiding the truth, wearing a mask, and they've been wearing this mask because of materialistic reasons. For materialistic reasons. That's sad, but whatever. That's what I see. And then, this is an awakening. This is an epiphany. This is um, seeing the truth in a situation, but feeling tied down and frustrated, not, not really doing anything about it, right? Um, then we have, it's like, this is, this is an, this is a wish or an answer to the, this is the answer. It's like you ask for an answer. What should I do? You get the answer and there's an opportunity to have a successful outcome. If you use that key and open the right door. Okay. So on Thursday, you are going to be given the answer that you seek, whether you use that key or you throw it in the garbage is completely up to you. On Friday, if somebody is trying to avoid upheaval in their life, it's like there's, it's time to go, it's time to take a vacation, it's time to get going, whatever you got to do, but they're avoiding it. They're avoiding the opportunity that they have been given on Friday. Um, stalling, not may taking any action on Saturday, but there is a younger man in the picture. Take it however it resonates. On Sunday, there is going to be an event that uh, makes somebody consider, think about, why am I doing this? So Sunday, there's going to be some sort of excitement that makes you really think, am I wasting, why am I wasting my time? And so that's what I got for your week. And Pisces, 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 Pisces is up next. Pisces, what do we got for Pisces for the week ahead? The 14th through the 20th of October for Pisces. What do we got for Pisces for the week ahead? Day number one. Mm. 
frustrated. Day number one. Day number two, independence. Enjoying life on day number two. So we got Monday, Tuesday. This is this is feeling grateful. This is feeling grateful. This is this is frustrated right here. So Monday is going to be a frustrating day. There's going to be upheaval. There could be chaos. There's a lack of balance and harmony on Monday. But Tuesday looks better. Tuesday is enjoying life, doing quite well. You could be even receiving money. Okay, a lot of money on Tuesday. Wednesday, ooh. Thursday, grieving. Thursday, you're grieving. Now, things are out of control on Wednesday. There could be anger. Angry on Wednesday. Somebody could be becoming independent on Tuesday. Just saying. I'm not sure if that's the case, but this is independence. And this is anger. So we got anger on Wednesday. Then we have grieving on Thursday. There's a loss here. There is a loss here. I can't, I'd like to make it up for you, but you know I ain't that girl. So, this is a loss. And you need to protect yourself. You need to defend yourself on Sunday. You're going to need to put your guard up. You're going to need to protect yourself and stand your ground. Don't let people attack you. You may be under attack on Sunday. That is, a, see, these are all people holding these swords. So, on Sunday, you may feel like you are under attack. Um... So let me get the rest of the cards. So the number, day number one, which is Monday, there is some sort of chaos. There's an imbalance. There's a disharmony with that temperance and there's frustrations. Um, let me just get the rest of these cards real quick. The fool reverse. This is naive. This is somebody, this is foolish behavior. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. This is somebody acting foolishly. So, Monday. There is chaos, upheaval, extreme up and downs. Uh, things are unbalanced, unharmonious on Monday. I can't, I can't make it up. Okay. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So there's a younger woman here. She don't look very happy. All right. That is going to cause some chaos in your life on Monday. Be prepared. Tuesday. So this is a card of independence. You're on your own. You're doing good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. Life is good on Tuesday. Star. Guaranteed success. Tuesday is a very successful day, no doubt about it. You're, you're doing really good. Money is good. You're looking good, feeling good, whatever. Tuesday is good. Wednesday, you got some anger. And that is the meaning. This is angry, upset, trying to control things. Things are out of control. Things are not in order on Wednesday. Wednesday is the 16th. Involvement with the law. And, oh my God. Not good. Not good on Wednesday. Yikes. Thursday. This is grieving. This is sadness. This is regrets. Maybe somebody involved themselves with a younger woman. They think that they're on cloud nine. And, well, maybe something happens. Bad happens. I'm not sure. Table. Hard work ahead. So, yes, there is some sort of hard work ahead for you. There's going to be some sort of um, sadness. And you're going to have, on Thursday, you're going to be uh, grieving. Friday, this is foolish behavior. Somebody that acted recklessly. Position of authority. Throne. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who acted impulsively, somebody that took somebody that took somebody for granted. This is this is acted naive, took advantage of somebody. Position again, get another card for that. Ant. Work, achievement, success. But the fool reversed is there's no going back. There isn't. There's 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 well there's no fresh start here. That's what it is. No starting over. 
somebody was taken advantage of. Foolish. Somebody, this is Thursday, this is Friday. Foolish behavior. Somebody thought they were in authority. Hmm. One more. Angel. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. Huh. What the hell is going on? Is there any karma here? So, angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm, work, achievement, success, position of authority. Somebody is, somebody is receiving success. After they were taken advantage of. On Friday. Spiritual guidance, protection from hard, from harm. It's funny, spiritual guidance. Work, achievement, success. Somebody is receiving success on Friday. And they're going to be sitting right on their throne. But they have been taken advantage of. Saturday is a loss. That is a loss. It's a loss of something stable. It's a loss of something secure. This is a loss. Not unsuccessful plans. So somebody took advantage of somebody. And now they're losing because they did. There could be a loss of money or a loss of, of something financial. A financial loss. There could be something that costs you money on Saturday. There's somebody, somebody was, uh, it's almost like they were thinking they were getting away with something and they find out that they didn't. So on Saturday there is unsuccessful plans and there is a loss. I'm not sure what it is, but there's a loss. On Sunday, Seven of Wands, you're being attacked, or you're feeling like you are attacked on Sunday. Camel, perseverance, and you will overcome problems. So you will have to persevere. You will have to persevere because your people are going to be against you on Sunday. Hold your head up high and do not let them bring you down. That's my advice. You know, to keep your guard up, just, just whatever you got to do. Don't let these people bring you down whoever they are. So I feel as though you have a week of, this is going to start out as frustrating. There is a younger woman that is going to cause you some problems. There's no doubt. This person going to cause you problems uh, on Sunday or Monday on Monday, um, right around Monday. Um, you, on, on the next day, you are going to feel good. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel like, you know, this is, this is, great whatever whatever happened you're over it okay but uh wednesday things get crazy again okay with the emperor reverse and the involvement with the law it's like shit goes downhill fast so this is a teeter-totter and the temperance would say this is going to be a teeter-totter kind of week it is that's that's what this is so it's going to be like a woo, woo 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 up and down and that is exactly what this week is it's an up and down week every single day okay that's exactly what it does. So you're going to have a roller coaster ride of a week, Pisces. Um, but your perseverance is going to prevail. And my advice is to stand your ground, protect yourself, be prepared for some hard work ahead. Um, something that didn't come out successful, it wasn't meant to. It wasn't meant to. So just, it is what it is. So good luck. Talk to y'all later. And we're going to get one card for the collective. One card for the collective. One card for the collective for the week ahead. What do we have? What, does it, what do we need to hear, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we need to hear? Peace. Peace. What a card. 
What a card to have for the end. I am going to read it. Peace. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. It doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind. A heart fulfilled. Freedom from want and the soul's satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. When two people are in true alignment with one, one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned in instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. This is one of those times when you're capable of clear vision about your work and how you create prosperity. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're called by a presence to step into your power. Just being is enough. For you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in your work. Now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if those are dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is all that means is that you must go within and fine tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass, and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. Be at peace with your current circumstances. Accept it. Whatever is meant to be, is meant to be, even if it includes loss. There's a greater plan, there's a greater pl power involved. This too shall pass. And once again, your life will be filled with beautiful music. Be at peace. Good luck.